Hi friends, a Saxophone Oracle here, and this week I'm answering a question from one of the subscribers to this channel. So the question is, how often should I bring in my saxophone to be maintained, checked out by RepairTech? And why is it that professional players or really advanced players seem to have no problem whatsoever playing on a horn that's just completely out of shape, you know, leaking in, in bad mechanical condition? Um, so these are two excellent questions. Um, and I'll start with the, se the second question. Why is it pro players can play a, a horn that's in complete disrepair and still sound good? Um, for those of you who have stumbled across my channel, uh, you're probably well aware of Jay Metcalf and, and his Better Sax channel, all the great content he produces. Um, well, in one of his episodes, he's hanging out with Bob Shepard. Sorry, he's hanging out with um, Bob Reynolds. And Bob Reynolds offers up his horn as, as an example, as a guinea pig for this video. And Jay goes through it and he points out, oh, well, it's probably leaking here and there's so much play in these keys and this and this and this. And deter you know, basically you need a complete overhaul on your horn. How you're able to play this thing is beyond me. And at the end of the video, he, you know, he thanks uh, Bob for letting him use his horn as a guinea pig. And he says, but Compared to most professional players' horns, he comes across Bob's horn, despite all the things wrong with it, is actually in pretty good shape comparatively, right? So, I mean, we've seen this. And uh, the reason pro players can basically do this, can play a horn that's in complete disrepair and leaking all over the place, there's two reasons. One is sheer experience, right? You just learn how to manage with years of playing and when it's little you know ergonomic things or you know you lost a felt or a cork or something like that and it's not really affecting the way the horn plays you just adjust you know it's it's a nuisance but you just adjust and it's fine but when it comes to a leaky horn here's the thing an amateur player a beginner player who has a leaky horn, this can be a real headache and cause a lot of problems. It's gonna make it difficult for certain notes to speak, it's gonna make playing in the low end hard, it's gonna make tuning issues, it's, it's, it's a real headache. But the reason it doesn't bother pro players is simply the amount of air that a professional saxophonist puts through the horn. They literally play through the leak. So a pro saxophone player has developed a huge lung capacity they're playing with an enormous amount of air support from all the muscles here in their abdomen and their back, all of that. And with all the experience they have, they have incredible control over the air that they're putting through the horn. So, you know, a, a little, little bit of air escaping here or there or all over the place, it's not really gonna affect anything under normal playing conditions for a pro player. Sure, if you're like a classical saxophone player, you have to play down low, really intricately, really quiet, then it's going to be problematic. But if you're just doing 99% of what saxophone players do, um, you know, the amount of air that goes through the horn, it's just insignificant if there's a leak or five leaks or whatever. Simple as that. Um, so as an amateur player, a beginner player, you know, and there's a couple things. One, you're not using the same amount of air you're most probably not supporting your air anywhere near as well as you should be. You don't have the experience on how to control the air. Also, you're probably playing a mouthpiece that either came with your saxophone or it's like a really small tip opening. You're probably playing a Selmer C Star, which is a super common mouthpiece, a Yamaha 4C or 5C, something like that. Relatively soft reed. And, um, and also your, your embouchure isn't developed. You're probably doing all kinds of things that are inhibiting the reed from vibrating and getting the, the proper air going through the horn. So you combine all these things together and you have a little leak, especially up high, like in a B or in the palm keys or something, it's going to be a real headache for you and it's going to give you a hard time. So it brings us to the other part of the question. How often should I bring my saxophone in to get checked out? You know, well, that depends on a lot of things. Uh, it depends on the kind of horn you have and the condition it's in. And it depends on the kind of player you are and how you care for your horn. Okay, so if you buy a used horn, 
20 year old horn and you get it, you're probably gonna have a lot of problems. Um, you're probably gonna need a complete mechanical overhaul, new pads, everything. After that, you're gonna be set. I mean, these are, these are pretty robust instruments, right? If you buy a new horn, you get it set up, once you get it brand new and you get it set up properly, you're probably gonna be problem free for your entire career. I mean, major problems, that is. So, um, you know, if you're an advanced player, a serious music student, you're putting in six hours of playing a day on the horn, you're traveling back and forth a lot, you're gonna have a lot more issues. If you're a medical, middle school student and you're riding on the bus and you don't really take care of your horn and you're bouncing it around and dropping it and bumping it into things, you're gonna have lots of issues. But if we assume you have a reasonably good quality horn, it doesn't have to be a professional horn, like a student model, Yamaha, Selmer, Jupiter, any of the reputable brands. Um, the pads are relatively new. Everything is in good working order. Um, you're not gonna have any major issues. That being said, temperature fluctuations, humidity fluctuations, we have leather pads, we have all kinds of things regulated by corks and felts. Things are gonna dry out, things are gonna expand. There are gonna be minor adjustments necessary. And I would say, given you take care of your horn, you know, you're not bumping it, you're not dropping it, uh, you swab it out every time you finish playing, you put it on a proper sack stand when you're done, or back in your case, you're not storing it in a moldy basement, you're not leaving it in your car, you know, in, in uh, hot summer sun heat or, or minus 30 in the winter, you know, you're just taking care of your horn properly, I'd say twice a year, once every six months, you know, see if you can get an appointment June 1st, December 1st, Bring it in, your tech's gonna drop a light. If there's any leaks, they're gonna do it. Any spring adjustments, they're gonna oil your rods and things like that so you don't have to do it. And you're gonna be golden. And your maintenance is not gonna cost you a whole lot. It's not gonna give you a whole lot of headaches. Twice a year, that's about it. I mean, this horn, for example, I got it brand new in 2014. It came from Italy when I took it out of the box. I play tested it, brought it to the technician, had it set up, made sure everything was working correctly, uh, put things the way I liked it, you know, my personal preferences. And so seven years later, this has not been on another workbench since. And it probably won't go on another one until something major happens, you know, like when pads need serious replacing or if a spring breaks or a solder fails. Um, Granted, tenor is my main instrument. That's what I do most of my gigs on, most of my playing on. But I, I still play this a fair amount, but I take care of the horn. And uh, it's been seven years, and it's problem-free. Are there little leaks all over the place? Probably, but nothing that, you know, affects the way I play the horn, right? So... <laughs> subtone, play the whole dynamic range on the lowest note of the saxophone. I can play up and down. There's no tuning issues. I'm not struggling with anything. So that's it. I don't know when this guy's going to see uh, a tech again. So there you have it. Um, pro players use a ton of air. And, um, you know, little leaks are going to cause problems. So twice a year, bring it in just for a little checkup. Make sure everything's working okay and you're not struggling with things for... Uh, you know, unnecessarily struggling with things. I'm the Saxophone Oracle. I hope you found this video informative, useful. As always, thank you so much for continuing to watch. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below or shoot me an email. I'd love to answer them in any subsequent videos. That's it for now. I wish you a great week. Uh, happy, happy practicing, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye for now.